hey guys welcome back let's start another tutorial and today we are going to create this glob in maya so let's start with the modeling so i'm going to uh, model this glob first and uh, for that we just need a sphere so let's take a simple sphere and let's increase the radius a little bit 2.5 you can increase the subdivision axis let's take 30 by 30 and uh, now let's uh, go to face mode and uh, select these faces and create duplicates select these faces uh, let's go to modify and center pivot and uh, extrude just a little bit add some thickness 0 0.01 should be fine for this now go to face mode again and uh, select these faces here and again extrude like this Keep the thickness to 0 0.05. Now let's take a pipe and pull it up. Reduce the radius and thickness. and the height go to front view and uh, keep the radius uh, 0 0.05 and uh, thickness to 0 and uh, place it up here like this go to vertex mode select this vertex and uh, place it down here and select all these vertices then uh, scale them like this Now take another cylinder and uh, place it up here, decrease the radius and height, bring it down here, change the radius to 0 0.03. Decrease the height and turn on the round cap. Change the subdivisions of caps. Let's take four. Go to face mode and select these faces, then delete. Now take multi cut tool and let's add one cut here and uh, two here. Go to vertex mode and uh, select these vertices, then uh, scale them down like this. Scale this up like this. Go to edge mode and select this edge, then extrude and uh, scale like this. Again, select this edge, then extrude and let's add offset here and extrude one more time like this 
and place it here. Go to front view and uh, vertex mode, select these vertices and pull them down like this. You can scale it down just a little bit. Now you can select all these edges and uh, let's deselect these two. Then go to mesh display and select the soften edge. Select this one and again go to mesh display, set it to hard. Change the subdivision of this cylinder. Let's turn it down. Now let's take another pipe and uh, bring it out here then rotate it like this go to front view and uh, increase the radius decrease the thickness and increase the subdivision axis let's take 60 let's select this and increase the height just a little bit place it here like this and uh, place this pipe down like this bring it here go to top view and uh, decrease the height let's keep it 0 0.15 and place it here like this go to front view and uh, face mode select half of these faces then delete place it a little back like this Maybe scale it just a little bit. Just to match uh, these edges with these edges on the cylinder. Like this. Now select this edge, then split it. And now you can select these two and combine. Then go to face mode, select these two faces, delete. And uh, go to vertex mode, select this vertex, then select this target weld tool and uh, merge it here, this one here. 
and this one here and repeat the same thing uh, down here like this now again go to edge mode and uh, let's select this edge then split vertex mode select this vertex and uh, target weld it here and this one here so all our vertex are merged now what you can do uh, select this then go to face mode and uh, let's delete half of these faces and now you can select these three then combine go to front view and change the pivot to this point here create a duplicate and let's rotate it like this go to front view and let's select these two parts and combine then select all these vertices then merge now let's model this stand here so for that what we can do is let's select everything then uh, go to edit and uh, group them so we have this group let's select this and rename it and now we can just rotate this like this and now we can model this stand so for this stand what i'm going to do is uh, let's take a cylinder bring it down turn on the round cap and increase the subdivisions increase the height and uh, radius like this and turn down the subdivision axis let's change it to 16 or 14 turn down the radius a little bit more and the height place it up here like this then press alt h to isolate and uh, go to face mode select these faces grow selection and delete now select these two edges then bridge and let's connect all these edges bridge select these two borders and select this fill hole and to connect these vertices and fix this and go on, just select this and take the multi cut tool and let's connect these two vertices select these two faces like this and delete go to edge mode and uh, again connect these with bridge then fill hole repeat the same thing here let's bridge and fill hole and for this one uh, you can use fill hole or bridge whatever you want then bring back your model and just rotate it like this go to right view and uh, what you can do just go to face mode and uh, let's uh, delete these faces then go to vertex mode and select these vertices then place them like this 
and repeat the same thing on this side. And you can scale it down just a little bit. Like this. Now select this edge, then let's add some offset and extrude like this. And to fix these hard edges, just select these edges then go to mesh display and soften edge the way I showed in the last video you can also scale it just a little bit like this now it looks much better now let's model this stand here so go to front view now you can use this curve tool for this or you can just take a cylinder and model it so we are going to use the cylinder for this one so let's take a cylinder place it up here place it down here and increase the subdivision axis let's take 30 and go to vertex mode and scale these vertices down like this place them here now select these edges then use the connect tool and add uh, five segments so we are going to uh, use these segments to maintain the curve of this shape now go to vertex mode and select these vertices then scale and these ones let's create this shape here like this and uh, now you can select this edge then use edit edge flow like this now go to deform and select this lattice go to attribute editor and in the lattice shape turn down the tv divisions and uh, select this lattice point then pull them up like this and scale now select this shape go to edit then delete by type history now let's uh, remove all these faces for now Go to edge mode and select this edge. Extrude it just a little bit. Then extrude again. And one more time like this. Go to front view. Pull it down till here. Then add some offset. And extrude again. Just a little bit. Select this edge, then scale it like this, and this one extrude, then merge to center. Now go to edge mode and select this edge, this one, and these ones, then bevel, increase the segments. And down fraction to 0 0.4. Now select this one and again bevel. Increase one segment and turn down the fraction to 0 0.2.
then go to mesh display and select the soft on edge so our modeling is finished let's select this and place it up here on the grid select everything go to edit then delete by type history so our globe is finished so that's it for this video and in the next one we are going to unwrap this and texture it in substance painter so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then drop a like and share this video and subscribe if you're new to this channel i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching